What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today we're coming in with a story about the time that my Tinder date robbed me. Hey, hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And also, one thing I want to mention real quick, follow me on Twitter already. What are you waiting on, ladies and gentlemen? I just hit 21,000 followers. Let's make it 22,000. Smack that follow button, baby. Hey, you know you want to, dude. I tweet quality. I tweet pictures of all the weed I smoke. If you want to see some good weed, follow me on Twitter, baby. Without further ado... Let's dive right into it. So, this story took place way back during the Hotel series. And a lot of you guys who have been asking me where that series went, I've actually answered this a few times, and I'll answer it here once again. I never decided to finish it because as I got through it, I realized I shouldn't have ever made it a series, right? So for those of you guys who don't know what I'm referring to, I'll link the first episode of that, and you guys can kind of watch it and get some backstory to this video. But this is, you know, how, how I'm going to continue this series and kind of finish it is release these stories as, like, independent videos, right? This being the first of those. So how this played out is this was way back in 2017 when I was living in a red roof inn, right? I was living in a shit bucket motel because I got kicked out of my mom's house. And at the time, I was basically just smoking a bunch of weed in this hotel and drinking for like two weeks straight. And I was browsing Tinder here and there. And there's this girl who we're going to call Monica, right? I added her on, added her on Snapchat, pardon me. And we, we were kind of talking to each other for maybe a day or so. And I sent her a picture of the weed I had. And I had some really fucking good loud at the time. I'm talking some amazing bud. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, how does a fat retard like you get a Tinder match, right? How do you get a girl on Snapchat? How do you get her to proceed? Listen, I just put pictures of weed on my Tinder profile. It worked for me most of the time. You know, Tinder would eventually take them down, but I just put another one back up. It, we're on to the next. You know what I'm saying? So... Either way, I'm talking to this girl, and I send her a picture of my weed, and she's like, damn, that looks really good. I want to smoke some of that. So I'm like, bet. We should hang out. You want to come over to my place? Not really letting her in on my place being a red roof in yet. I just said, you want to come over, right? She's like, yeah, what are you doing tomorrow? So we make some plans. That's that. The deal is settled. She's coming through the next day. So the next day rolls around, and I end up hitting up uh, a couple of my buddies, right? I end up hitting up my boy Bob, and I say, Bob... Do you have any alcohol? I think I'm going to need some drinks for tonight, right? I think I think she's going to want to have uh, some liquor with me, right? Bob's like, oh, yeah, I got you. I got you someone who's got an ID. Let's go to the liquor store. So Bob swings by, and I go and hop in his car, and we're with another friend who we're going to call Andy, right? Andy's a friend of ours who had a fake ID, and he'd had one for ages. This kid had a fake since high school, right? So we hop in the car, and we cruise over to this liquor store near us. And Andy asks me what I want, and I tell him to get me a bottle of Smirnoff. I don't really know what to get, but I figure, you know what? You can't go wrong. If she wants to drink, a Smirnoff is a safe bet. Like, if a chick's down to drink, she'll probably be down for Smirnoff. So I say, go get me some Smirnoff, and then get me, like, orange juice or something, right? You can't go wrong with vodka and OJ. So this guy comes out with vodka and OJ. This guy comes out with it. This liquor store is my favorite, by the way. Since, since turning 21, when I was up for court, I actually went back to this liquor store because this liquor store not only has all the drinks, they have all the chasers you could ever imagine, dude. They have, they have fucking juices of fruits that I didn't even know existed, dude. They have crazy shit in there. But either way, back on topic. So... He grabs me my vodka and OJ and comes back out, and I throw him the money, and they ask me if I want to hang out, and I'm like, boys, I'm sorry, I got a lady coming over, that's what this is for, you know, she's coming over kind of soon, I don't really think I can kick it for too long today, but they kind of pressure me, and I, I still, you know, I'm like, fine, we'll smoke a blunt real quick, so we go park up at the hotel, and we're sitting in the parking lot, and I end up hitting up Monica again, I'm like, yo, what time are you coming over tonight, just want to make sure. She says she can be there in two hours, but she tells me she doesn't have a car. So she's like, I might need to find a ride. It might take a little bit. Me being the gentleman I am, I'm like, you know, don't worry about it. I'll get your Uber, right? I'll cover your fucking Uber on the way. So she's like, oh, would you really do that? Like, that's so kind of you. I'm like, yeah, you know, what? I'll get you an Uber here. And if you're not too far, I'll get you one back too. It turns out she was only maybe 15 minutes away. So I'm like, bet. So... All fine and dandy, let's fucking go, right? So I end up smoking up with the boys. I end up smoking with Andy and Bob. I tap them up. I say, boys, I'm about to get some tonight. I think it's going to go great, right? I think she's going to love my weed. It's going great. You know, I haven't, haven't met a little lady off Tinder in what feels like forever, even though it really wasn't forever. I was kind of active on Tinder at this point because, once again, fat retard with good weed. What can I say, dude? I'll get a match if I swipe right on everyone that ever existed, and that's how it worked. But either way, so... 
I end up shaking up with them, going back to my hotel room, hop in the shower and get ready. And it comes time to get Monica her Uber. So I get her Uber, right? I call it in. And her her ride goes and picks her up. And now I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, oh, shit, you know, here we go. And I I get nervous every time I meet a a new person, you know, especially a new female, right? You got to have extra good, uh, extra good hygiene, extra good manners. You know, you got to be on point around the ladies, right? So I'm, I'm just a little antsy, a little nervous, right? She pulls up, you know, she says, I'm here. I give her my room number and she comes in, right? Now, she looks just like she did on Tinder, which was a big plus. And on top of that, I could tell this chick was with the shits because she had two fucking nose rings, right? She had two fucking nose rings. And whenever a chick has two nose rings, she's down for whatever. She probably would have done coke with me. She's down for whatever, right? And they were it was one on each nostril, too. Like, this chick was wild. And so, I was like, damn. She's with it. So, you know, she, she says hello to me and immediately we kind of go lay on my bed and I offer her some drinks, right? I'm like, hey, you want to get drunk? And she's like, absolutely. So we start drinking some of this vodka and OJ and I only had solo cups, so we didn't get to do shots. We just kind of had to do some mixed drinks, but we're sipping our drinks. I end up rolling up some bud. I roll up a blunt and we spark that and we're just laying on my bed, kind of talking to each other and getting to know each other, right? She's not sitting super close to me, but we're just chatting it up. You know, I'm asking her how, what she did today, you know? Does she work? What she do? She tells me she doesn't have a job. I'm like, okay, no job, no car, uh, bum bitch alert, but whatever. You know, I, I still no red flags. I still just thought, okay, maybe she's in between jobs. You know, who knows? So we're chilling for a little bit, and I end up turning on the TV and going to the on-demand movie section. This hotel taxes on movies, but they had a lot of them on demand. And I put on Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, which is one of my favorite fucking movies. Lo and behold, guess how much I had to pay for this fucking movie? I paid $20 to watch Ghost, Ghost, or not Ghost, I almost said Ghost Recon, dude. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Jesus Christ, dude. I was playing Breakpoint earlier today. That's probably why I said that. But either way, I had to pay $20 to watch this ancient ass movie that I literally just bought on DVD a couple weeks ago for $3 out of the fucking bargain bin at Walmart, right? But. I digress, back on topic. So, I put on this movie, and we're kind of chilling, and she's laying with her head on my shoulder, and kind of like diagonally facing away from, so like, her head's on my, think of it like this, I'm laying straight, her head is on my shoulder, but then her body is diagonally like, facing away from me, so like, her legs were furthest away from me, and her head was up against me, right? So we're watching this movie for a little bit. We're just drinking our drinks. And I'm pretty fucked up, dude. And she's pretty fucked up, too. And we we weren't really, like, I at least wasn't saying much. But she would not shut the fuck up throughout this movie, right? I was trying my best to just enjoy the movie because I'm one of those people. Even though I've seen it a million times. I watched this movie all the time when I was a kid. I was trying to enjoy one of my favorite fucking Mission Impossible movies, right? And this chick won't stop talking, you know? And I realized very quickly, okay, I'm drunk. I'm trying to enjoy this movie. What am I going to do? I got to make my move on her, right? She seems kind of down. She's got her head on me. I got to make my move. So I kind of, I do this little reach around kind of thing where I put my arm like under her, you know, because it was already under her, but I like extended it and then like, like scooped her, you know, I almost like wrapped my arm around and like pulled her in, you know, and then after that, I pulled her in and she goes like, oh, by the way, I'm on my period. And at that point I knew I was like, okay, yeah, she, she wouldn't say that if she wasn't down. She's down, right? So I'm not going to get into too much detail here because I never do at these parts, right? But you, we did the deed, right? I got some head. It was wonderful. It felt great, right? I'm sipping on my vodka and OJ. She's finally quiet because she's got something to occupy herself with. So I just get to watch my Mission Impossible. I'm like, you know what? This went pretty good because while she was talking, she wasn't even talking about the movie. If she was talking about the movie, that's cool because I love this movie. But you know what? She wasn't talking about the movie, dude. She was talking about some like personal family bullshit. She was like talking about her like family problems. And I was like, dude, it's day one I just want to get drunk and watch Mission Impossible that's all I'm here for but either way she does a fine old job the movie ends and I'm I'm fucked up at this point so I end up calling her Uber she says oh I gotta go pretty soon I'm like no problem let me get your Uber and it was like a $12 Uber no biggie so the Uber pulls up and as the Uber comes I tell her hey I gotta go to the bathroom so I go run into the bathroom right and I go in there and I'm taking my piss. And before I went into the bathroom, she's like, oh, okay, I'll probably just head out then. I say my goodbye, and then I go into the bathroom. And she leaves while I'm in there. So I come back out of the bathroom, and I don't notice anything at first, right? Like, my weed is there, you know, my liquor's there. But in my wallet, I had, like, I think it was, like, 70 bucks or some shit. 
And I didn't notice immediately, but my wallet was on the nightstand. And when I went and laid down in the bed, I looked over to the nightstand because that's where my cup was. And I noticed my wallet was empty and it was like open, right? I always leave my wallet closed and I could see the money when it's closed, right? It was open and it was empty. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, you fucking bitch. So I pop open Snapchat and I hit her up, right? And I, I message her and I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, where's my fucking, like, what did you do? Where's my money, right? And as I'm messaging her, I open my door to see if maybe she didn't catch her ride yet, right? And then I realize, I'm like, wait, I bought this chicken Uber. The Uber was gone by the time I came out of the hotel room. But I was like, wait, I bought her a fucking Uber. I'm pretty sure I can just cancel it, right? So I go back in my hotel room and I open up my app and lo and behold, I can. So I just fucking cancel the ride. I cancel the ride immediately, dude. And I'm like, I'm can I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, dude, she's going to hit me up any moment. She's going to be pissed. But I go back to my Snapchat and it turns out she had blocked me after I messaged her. So I have no idea what the fuck her reaction was or what actually happens when you cancel a ride in the middle. But that was the only retaliation I could think of. I was like, you know what? You have your money in cash, so you probably can't get an Uber if I had to pay for it. So walk your ass to an ATM and then you can get an Uber, you fucking prick. I'm going to make sure she has to walk to an ATM first. And the Uber driver is probably going to cuss her out for canceling the ride in the middle, too. That fucking cunt. But I didn't care, dude. I was just happy that lo and behold, I canceled the ride. And hey... I thought of it like this, $70 blowjob, that's comparable to Grand Theft Auto 4 pricing, you know, that's not that bad, I think it was like what, like a like 100 bucks on GTA 4 for the full ride, dude, it was like what, maybe like 75 for the head, dude, that's a pretty fair price, dude, so that's what I chalked it up to, I got a GTA 4 prostitute blowjob, and that's that, so... Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.